Many of you have already probably heard of game jams, whether they be local Discord game jams, Ludum Dare, Brackies, or the Game Maker's Toolkit game jam. Game jams are a great way to test your skills and see how well you can work under pressure with a deadline. However, game jams also have another really good purpose. That purpose is testing prototypes of ideas and how well it appeals to the audience along with how well it retains them. When creating a game for a game jam, the main questions you should ask yourself are, does my game idea resonate well with people? What are the shortcomings of this idea? Where can I make improvements? And is it fun to play? The great thing about game jam submission is that everyone knows that they're likely to be crude or missing polish and that they are truly prototypes made within a short frame of time. Some projects may come out looking very good, like many of the recent GMTK submissions, but most will not be as polished. Because of this experimentation with both mechanics and art style, this can lead to some very interesting results and lead you to create a full-fledged title you may not have thought of to begin with. For example, Hollow Knight started out as a game jam project called Hungry Knight, and stayed as this for a while before Team Cherry, the developers, decided to turn it into a full title. Shortly after Lunum Dare, there was another jam with the theme Beneath the Surface, which we thought was really evocative. We missed the deadline for the jam, but we kept talking about what sort of game we could make that would fit. We thought of the little insect knight exploring a deep old kingdom beneath the surface of the world, and everything kind of snowballed from there. While the submission Hungry Knight and Hollow Knight are quite different games mechanically, you can see where the art style and other mechanics later evolved into what we know today as Hollow Knight, a highly successful indie game that has launched on multiple platforms to widespread acclaim. Jams are something that I for a long time avoided. After participating in Ludum Dare 43, I didn't really care to participate in any future jams. That was until I came to the realization that there is more to a game jam than just creating a game in 48 to 72 hours. That game jams are truly about creating something that is interesting, fun, and retains the attention of the audience playing it. Creating appeal for people to try your game over hundreds and potentially thousands of other submitted titles. So that will conclude the second episode of Game Dev Tips and Tricks. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and feel free to subscribe for more content like this coming soon. We also have a Discord server linked in the description below.